What's going on, Wotu family? My name is Herman Perez. Today's lesson, we're gonna be doing an OLED video TIG all the way out. Uh, this is the pipe that we did on the video I did previously, the socket flange video. But today we got a special guest, Saul Trujillo. How's it going on, guys? He's a fitter at HP Piping Solutions. He's one of my old friends. Today he's actually gonna be doing the fitter for me and I will be doing the weld. So let's get to it, guys. How's it going on guys? I'm Saul Trujillo. Uh, I currently work for HP Piping Solutions. I'm a night shift fitter. And uh, my boy Herman brought me over here to fit up an OLED for him. Well, let's get to the fit up process. Should be fun. First you gotta, uh, first of all, you gotta clean up your pipe, make sure everything's good. Look at your ISO, or your blueprint, whatever you're working with. All right, the second thing you gotta make sure is uh, when you, once you clean your pipe, look at your blueprint because you don't know how they want, the customer wants the pipe. It can either be one hole or two hole. Usually when uh, there's uh, socket flanges like this or any type of flanges, they get bolted on in the field and there's a certain way the, the holes have to be in a pattern, as you can see. So it's called a, it's either two hole or one hole, either or. So they have these special tools called two hole pins. You just unscrew them, slide them in. Like I said, first you gotta check your uh, print. And if it says, for, for this case, Herman wants it two hold, so you two hold it. There's two ways you can do two hold. There's two holes right here. You, you leave those open out in the top and get from right here to right here, as you can see. Or like I like to do it is a simple, simpler way, easy way, same thing, same, you can get the same product. Those two holes that were open at the top, you just screw them on. Get the other one, screw it on. Oh, and the good thing about this, if you don't have a, a, a foot level or whatever, you just have a regular level, small level, you can use a small level. With the other process, it's better if you have a longer level. So now that we have the two holes in, you gotta make sure uh, you rotate the pipe. Or if the flange is not fit up or whatever, but in this case, the flange is already fit up. Just rotate the pipe, you get your level. Make sure it's level, right now it's not level, so just rotate it so you're comfortable with it. Perfectly level right there, as you can see, guys. And one last thing you gotta make sure, one last thing you gotta make sure, make sure the pipe's level. It's gonna help you out in the long run. See, right now it's not level, we gotta raise the back end. There you go, perfectly level there you guys. And now since we moved it, we're gonna clean up the pipe a little bit more. So Herman won't have a, he won't struggle welding the OLED on there. It won't be dirty, none of that. Now, what I like to do, I just grab the OLED. And this, oh, and the, you're looking at the print, they have measurements, they usually have measurements where the OLEDs have to be at because they have to be certain ways so they can get the holes or whatever they're getting on there in the OLEDs. In this case, Herman wants it at a foot. So you grab the flange right here, you get your tape measure right here. You get a regular marker, white marker, soapstone, anything will work. And then just mark it at a foot, kind of eyeball it where it has a foot. It don't have to be perfect, it's not a production piece. Second thing, you place the OLED on there. The OLEDs, as you can see, they have like a, a curve into them, like a C. I don't know if you can see that, guys. So that C has a purpose. As you can see, the, the pipe is round. If you put it like this, it's not gonna sit on there. It's gonna move. If you put it right where the, the C is, the little groove is at, it's not gonna move, because it's meant for that. The pipe is round, the little thing is rounded out, so the OLED can be on there good. So the other thing I like to do, you can grab the same marker or a different marker. I like using an orange marker because when you bust the holes, when you start cutting the pipe, you can actually see because some people when they're cutting with the torch, they get lost. So what I do is I get on the inside, I mark it. Mark it like that. And as you can see, I marked the inside of the, the OLED, the, the diameter of the inside. So another, another good thing to do is, uh, you grab a center punch, 
you center punch around the outside of the hole because you you know you got to cut on the center punches that I just that you put. Let's get to it. As you can see, it's not perfect, but the center punches are in there. Circle, more or less. And that just gives you more of a guideline for yourself when you're cutting. You don't wanna make the hole on the pipe too big and then the OLED, it doesn't match because then uh, the welder is gonna get mad. They gotta do a, a bunch of high-low and all that, you know. So it's better if you always try to do it perfect. So now let's, let's get to the cutting process. Now we gotta clean it. Since now that we got we got the hole cleaned up and opened up, it sits on there just right. Perfect, it sits on there. All we gotta do now is clean up the OLED, the actual OLED. Clean it right here on the face of the, the OLED. And I like to clean the inside because uh, when you're doing your root on there, you won't get none of that trash or that dirtiness when you get in there. So it's always better if you clean it. Now we got the, the OLED nice and cleaned up. All we have to do now is do the actual fitting up process. And I, I actually move the two hole pins, move the pipe, it's not leveled again. So it's always, it's always a double, triple check, check your pipe. Cause you never know, sometimes you're working and you're not paying attention. You can kick the jack, you can lean on the pipe, you can do whatever, it's gonna move. So it's always check cause uh, after you're done tacking it up, after you're doing all that, you call the QC and it's not good, you gotta redo it, that's no good. So, and now it's, it's right in the line, it needs to be a little bit better, it can be a little bit better. Right there, it's perfectly level again, just how we had it, double check the pipe. Perfectly leveled. There you go, guys. So, uh, how old are you? Oh, I'm 19 years old, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm the youngest uh, pipe fitter HP, I believe. <laughs> So for this, Herman prefers a 3 16 gap. If you're gonna be a fitter, these are gonna be one of your best friends. You're gonna have to have multiple of these. You can fit up two inch pipe, six inch pipe, eight inch pipe. They're called spacers. You can make them yourself with uh, stick rods or you can actually buy the actual metal and tack them up together. But yeah, I recommend you get some of these. All you gotta do is just lay it on there and uh, lay the OLED. Remember about the little curve. Make sure you always get the curve right. Because right now you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel the curve. Right there. It's good to double check, triple check. Always double check, triple check. Have a flashlight with you all the time. Make sure it looks good in there. Make sure the high-low looks good, make sure everything's good. And now, with these OLEDs, you can do, uh, usually you do four tacks if you're doing any type of pipe, but with this, you can do uh, two or three tacks, depending on how, how you like it or how they want it. We're gonna do three tacks today, and uh, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so with these, you don't do penetration checks, you do uh, bridge tacks. 
Cause it's better if you just bridge tag it cause the welder can just get in there when he's doing his root, he won't mess up the pipe or the bevel, you know, when you're grinding in there to cut it out. So you always do bridge tags. I, I like to do bridge tag on these. It's easier, it's cleaner, better, <laughs> better overall. Now that we have it tacked, so you just pick it, a little, uh, pick it up a little bit, and if it doesn't come out right away, fitters, you know, you gotta have wedges. Just wedge it up a little bit. Should come out like that. And now, since we tacked the sides first, there's two ways you can check it. Remember I told you to make sure the pipe is level? It's gonna help you out in the long run. This is the reason why. You can grab your level, make sure it's level again, you know, like I said, double, triple check, lay it on there. Every time you tack something, it's gonna pull. So you gotta, I, what I like to do is leave it, if you do it with the tape measure and the square, leave it a 16 out, because when you tack it, it's gonna be right perfect. So when you do it with the level, is that a square? Uh, it's not level, right now it's not level. Grab your wedge, you move it. Now, if, if you can tell, if you can see right here, it's right in the opposite line where it needs to be. So, because it's right in that opposite line, when I tell Herman to tack it, that tack is gonna make the OLED move a 16, 32 probably. So when you, it moves, it's gonna be level. But there's another way you can, you can check that too. You grab a square, 90 square, a tape measure, you lay the actual OLED on there. You put your square right here. You lay right here, we got one and nine sixteenths. Right here we got one and a 32 over nine sixteenths. So it's perfect. When he tax it, it's gonna be money. So you can tack this side, Herman. Now that we have it tacked up, I always check your work. As you can see now, before it was right in the opposite, this line, the right line, or your left line. <laughs> now it's perfect, leveled. Like I said, it pulls by the 16th or 32. Or you can always, if you want to make sure it's perfectly squared, you check it with your square right there. 9 sixteenths, 1 and 9 sixteenths, 1 and 9 sixteenths. Money. Now, remember I said I was three tacks. The reason we have these two holes right here, make sure it's level. You're gonna make the OLED be the same as level as the flange. So you lay your level on there, it's not, there's never gonna be perfect, you know, you just tacked it up. So now, you grab your wedge. This one needs to go that way. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let it write that line. Even though it's right in the same line, it's not right in the line as bad. It's borderline right in the line. But I'm gonna let Herman take it on this side. And with the heat, it's gonna pull. But we're only gonna do three tacks because he's gonna start his route from right here, right here, and you work around. I let it cool down a little bit so it can pull, have time to pull. And now it's matching the same two holes. There you go, right in perfect. There's money, it's level. Well, that's pretty much it for the socket OLED on pipe. You know, we did the fit up, the cleaning, Cleaning the pipe, busted the hole on the pipe, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so now we're starting on our route. We're running at 110 amp or 105. My technique for the route, back feed, which is my favorite technique. 